about that. We're a family. She's a doctor who has a pastor for us. I'm the breadwinner. We got a baby. And I have quit my job thinking I'm going to Wall Street. <sighs> Man, things got tough at home. I still had one shot to be in the business that I wanted to be in the rest of my life. But before I could play it all the way out, I still got to take care of my family. Which means I did everything legal that I could to take care of my family and still pursue my dream. I cut grass, hauled rubbish, cleaned basements. I learned roofing, I learned painting. I did everything that I could to take care of my folks and still pursue my dream. Things are tough at home. Had a situation come up, probably never happened to anybody in this room but me. Had one of those arguments with my ex about nothing that only ended because we both fell asleep. We woke up in the morning, everybody's feet hit the floor, guess what? We went at it again. The neighbors have heard enough of this. They don't know what's happened, what may happen, what could happen. They call the police. The police come, they want to make sure everything is fine. Take her over here, calm her down, talk to her. Take me outside, calm me down, talk to me. And then one of my friendly, burgly police officers, just doing his job, says, you mind if I search your car? No, sir, go right ahead. Search the car, nothing. Then again, just doing his job, says, well, let me just run this license plate through a computer. Oh, no. That was it. With interest and penalties, I had accumulated $1,200 in unpaid parking tickets trying to interview oh. in downtown San Francisco the previous year. Double parking, illegal parking, late to pay the meter. An honest question could be, you knew you had the tickets, why didn't you pay them? Well, the position that I was now in, having to cut grass and put food on the table. Every dollar that came in the house, I had to make a decision. I could pay the tickets or I could pay the rent. I did probably what every man in this room would have done. I paid the rent. I was taken to jail. Put in a jail cell with a murderer, a rapist, and an arsonist. And I'm in here on parking tickets. <laughs> First thing you learn in jail, everybody's got to tell their little jailhouse story, but well, why are you in here? The first thing that I learned, according to the inmates, nobody did it. It's all a setup or circumstantial evidence. They asked me, well, why are you in here? And I told them, I'm in here for attempted murder, and I will try it again. <laughs>